Hi everyone, my name is Anaga and I'm part of the data science discovery team in this video today we're going to be doing a question on uh, data frame filtering and grouping so let's go ahead and get started so here uh, we want to write the Python code that finds the single row in the year in which the most Taylor Swift songs were made return a data frame with just that single row that the most uh, songs were made so the first thing we want to do here is we want to go ahead and print out our uh, original data frame, right, to see what what is the data that we're dealing with. And it looks like here, these are just, um, each row represents like a song that was released and, and its album, its release date, as well as some other, you know, characteristics about that song. So here, these songs are released from all these different types of years, but we want to find the one year in which the most Taylor Swift songs were made. So that kind of gives a good indication that we want to group our data frame, right? Because in, in our original data frame, we have all these songs from all these different years, but we want each row to represent a year, and then we want to find you know the, the total number of songs that were made for each year, and then at the end of it, we just want to find that one year in which the largest number of songs were made. So the first thing we want to do is really group our data frame by year, right, by the release date, which contains the year of release. <clears throat> and when we group the data frame, how are we going to aggregate all our data? Well, we just want to aggregate by we have three options right aggregating by mean by count or by sum um here it doesn't make sense to find the mean of anything right what would we even find the mean of we just want to go ahead and count up all the songs that were made for each single year right so for 2003 we want to like or for 2003 for example we want to count up all these songs that were made for 2003 for 2024 we just want to count up all the songs that were made for 2024 so we're really just counting up <coughs> all the rows that belong in each group which is each year right so we just want to go through our entire data frame and just count up how many rows belong in that certain group which is that certain year right so we want to group our data frame by our release date and aggregate using the count because we're just counting up all the rows really that belong in each in each release um, year right we don't want to sum up anything right it doesn't make sense to sum up all the characteristics of a certain song and we don't want to find the mean of anything either so the first thing is to really group our data frame and then after that is done, we want to go ahead and find that one year where the most Taylor Swift songs were made. So find the row or the year with the largest number of songs that were released. So here we would, you know, I think we would have to use n largest, right? Because we want to find that one row with the largest number of songs. So for step one, let's go ahead and group our data frame. So I can call it, it doesn't say we need to call it a specific name. So I'm just gonna call it DF year because we're grouping by year here. So DF year equals DF dot group by release date dot aggregate by count dot set index. And then when we print out our DF year, this is what it really looks like, which makes sense because each row represents a different type of year and for that year, right, all these values are the same. For example, in 2006, we see 15 here for the entire row of these columns because that shows us that in 2006, 15 songs were released, right? So when we use count, it's basically just counting up. <coughs> it's basically just counting up all the rows that belong to that specific group, which is 2006. And same for 2008 and 2010. So here, uh, the the numbers are the same because because we're just you know counting up all the rows that belong in that specific year if we use sum it would you know sum up all of the values for that specific year which doesn't really make sense because we don't want to find the sum of like the I don't know like the acousticness or the danceability we want to find the number of songs that were released in that year 
And then step two is planning to row the year with the largest number of songs released. So we just want to return a data frame with that single row where the most songs were made. So let's just do DF um, largest year equals DF year dot then largest. We want to find the one row where the most Taylor Swift songs were made. And when we uh, want to specify which column to look at, we can really include any of these columns, right? Because all the columns contain the same amount of information. So I can include like name here, or I could include album or track number or ID or any of these other columns because all of these columns store the same amount of information, which is how many rows or how many songs were released in each year, right? How many songs are included in each, uh, in each year here. So when I go ahead and run this and print out my code, I can see here that 2020 was that specific year in which the most songs were released. And it's, this is all this is asking us to do. Um, and when I submit the code, will I get it correct? That's expected because really all we did here was really group our data frame by account because we just want to find the total number of songs that were released for each specific year. And then at the end, just find that largest um, row where the largest number of songs were released. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye.